Hey guys, hope you are doing great. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to do a basic setup for developing augmented reality apps using ARKit plugin in Unity. And also, I will show you how to make a simple application in which we are going to place a realistic abandoned house on a horizontal surface. And it looks something like this. Now you are going to learn three things from this tutorial. Number one, how to do a basic setup for developing AR apps with Unity. Second, how to place objects on a horizontal plane. It can be a car, a house or anything else. Third, I'll show you how to generate realistic shadows from virtual objects. So first of all, let's do a basic setup. First, make sure you have latest release version of iOS 11 installed in your iPhone, not the beta version. If you don't have that, your app will not work. Second, we are going to install latest version of Unity as well as latest version of Xcode 9. So let's do that. So go to Google and first of all, we are going to install latest version of Xcode. Just go to Apple's website and click on develop and then go to downloads. Now as you can see here, it's written release software. So this is what you have to download. For me, the latest version of Xcode 9 is this one. For you, it might be some other version, but make sure to download the latest version of Xcode 9. Now once you have downloaded Xcode 9, let's download Unity. So just type in Unity 3D, just go here. And we want this personal free version. So first of all, download the installer. Now just open this. Now make sure you have all these components installed. That is Unity, Documentation, Standard Assets, Example Project and this iOS Build Support. Make sure all these are checked. Then press continue and install Unity. It might take some time. So after you have installed Unity, just resume the video. So now just open Unity and click on this new. Now give it a project name. I'll just give it AR app and you can set the location of the project to anywhere you want. After that, create project. We have downloaded Unity. Now we just have to make it ready for making AR apps. For that, we have to download ARKit plugin available in the asset store. So just go to the asset store and it might take some time to load. So give it some time. After that, just type in ARKit and you are going to get this first result as Unity ARKit plugin. Just click it. In your case, there will be a download button. So first download it and after it has downloaded, just click on import. And then import it. So once you have imported the Unity ARKit plugin, you will get all these files. So let's go into this folder, this one, and then go to examples, and then go to this folder named as Unity ARKit scene. Just open it and double click on this icon. Now go to this tab right here, scene. As soon as we double click this icon, Unity opens up a default AR project which contain all these things. This serves as a very good starting point to start developing our AR apps. So we are going to work in this scene. Now, if you are new to Unity, let me give you a small introduction about this. So this part is known as hierarchy and this part is known as the scene. So any object that we put in our hierarchy will appear in this scene right here. So let's see what I'm talking about. So if you double click this directional light right here, you can see this light source and its rays focusing downwards. And we can zoom it a bit using our mouse scroll wheel. Or if you don't have a mouse, 
just scroll this using two fingers like this so as you can see this directional light is present in this hierarchy as well as in this scene the same with all these other objects so if we click on random cube we have this random cube right here and if we click on this camera parent we have this camera parent also and if we look at this hit cube parent we can see this cube right here so all the 3d objects or all the objects present in this hierarchy will also be there in this scene so suppose you add a 3d object here just right click 3d object and select any object you want so let's take sphere now as you can see we have this sphere right here now i just wanted to show you and we can delete it so just click it right click and delete so as i told you a few minutes back that this sample project provided inside the arkit plugin gives a really good starting point what i meant by that is it does the basic task such as plane detection and object placement so if you were to run this app at this point of time you will be able to detect horizontal plane and you will be able to place this cube right here on that horizontal plane but just placing a cube is not very interesting so let's try to place some other objects on it so if we want to place any other model such as a car or a tree or a house we can just do a little bit of changes in this sample project and our app will be ready so let's see how to place a model of an abandoned house instead of this boring cube so what we want to do is replace this cube with an abandoned house so for that just go here and drop this hit cube parent and you will see this hit cube now this hit cube is basically this cube right here and this hit cube parent is basically a empty node containing this cube so what we want to do is delete this cube and place a house instead of this cube but before deleting it let me show you one thing as soon as you click on this cube you can see all these properties on the right hand side like this transform mesh filter box collider mesh renderer and the script so i will explain all these properties in some other tutorials but just look at this last property right here which says unity ar hit test example script so this property is basically script now what it does is as you can see we have this script right here unity ar hit test example now this script if i double click and open this now this is the script attached to our cube and this is responsible for placing our cube on the horizontal plane as soon as we tap on it and so if we delete this cube what will happen is this property known as script will be deleted as well and we will lose the connection to this script which is responsible for placing this cube on the horizontal plane as soon as we tap it so just keep this in mind so what we are going to do is after deleting this cube and placing the house instead of this cube we have to add this property the script property to that house as well that will make everything all right so let's do that so for downloading that abandoned house just go to asset store and just type in abandoned house and just click on this filter free only as we want a free asset now this is the model that we want so just click on it and then download this and then import this click on import so it has been imported and if you go to assets here just click here you can see apart from all these files and this folder we have this folder right here known as buildings this is the asset that we downloaded so we can now just delete this hit cube right click delete and just open this folder go to prefab and we have this abandoned house right here so just drag this from here on this hit cube parent like this and we can just zoom out now if you want to see this from different positions so if you want to navigate around this house and see what it looks like from all the sides you can just use these tools on the top left corner this one and this one so if you select this tool it is used for moving the scene like this 
and this tool is used for looking around so if you right click like this so as i told you we have to attach the script to this house so just click here and click on add component and then just type in ar hit test and select this script unity ar hit test example and we have to fill this hit transform so just drag this hit cube parent onto this now it's almost done just one thing left we can run this application at this point of time but we won't see any shadows so for making it look more realistic we can implement shadows so for doing that go to this directional light click on this and go to this property known as shadow type and select soft shadows now as you can see we have the shadows inside this ruined building but we don't have the shadow of these walls of these outside walls for doing that we have to grab a shadow plane which is provided by this arkit example so just go to the search bar right here and type in shadow and select this one shadow plane prefab not this one this is shadow plane material don't select this select this shadow plane prefab and then drag this and drop on this ruined house such that the shadow plane prefab is the child of ruined house now if i zoom in a bit i can see this plane and this looks very small right now so we will increase its size and we can increase the size of the plane make sure this is selected shadow plane prefab and then change the scale from here to 100 100 and 100 now as you can see we have this shadow right here so now we are done and we just have to run this application now to run the application go to this file and click on build settings and make sure the only scene that is selected is this unity ar kit scene only this only this one should have this check mark then click on ios right here and then click switch platforms it might take some time now it will take a lot of time so just be a little patient and after that click on player settings just go to this bundle identifier and type any unique id such as com dot ar kit or your name maybe like this then set this target minimum ios version from 6 to 11 then specify this camera usage description to any string you like and then just click on build and select where you want your xcode project to be saved so i'll just select desktop and give it a name ar ios just click on save and it's going to take some time too and now go to the xcode project wherever you saved it i have it here then just open the project just go here and change your team and let this process after it's done connect your device and run the project so before running the application i just want to tell you guys one thing that i have uploaded two awesome ar kit courses on udemy in which i have shown you how to make really cool ar apps so if you want to check it out the link is in the description and also i am giving away the courses on a very high discount and you can get each one of them for just 10 dollars so be sure to check them out i am sure you will like it now let's run the application i need me to